Welcome back to Kicking Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make this hand towel and washcloth set. So for this project we're using a worsted weight cotton yarn like Lily Sugar and Cream or Burnett, Burnett Handicraft or Cotton and a Tunisian crochet hook of 6.5 millimeter. Both of them use the same stitches. You'll have different stitch counts and different number of rows, but they do the same basic stitch pattern. So I'm going to do a really small sample just to give you um, kind of a basic idea. And you can get the actual row counts and stitches uh, from my website, or I'll try and remember to read them off. So I'm just going to do a little 10 stitch sample here. So your foundation row is going to be depending on which project. So for the hand towel, you just, you'll start with 50 stitches, and for the washcloth, you'll start with 36 stitches. I'm just going to do 10 here, just as a small sample. And actually, you can make this whatever size you want. It just needs to be an even number of stitches. Now we'll pick up a loop in each stitch. If you want it to have a nice edge, you'll want to pick up the back bump. So there's these two loops that make a V, and then there's this bump on the back. So I'm going to pick up a loop in the bump on the back, and in every stitch across. Okay, so now the return pass is always going to be just a normal return. That's a chain one and then yarn over and pull through two loops until you get back to the start of the row. Now to start we're going to be doing honeycomb stitch, which is a two row repeat. The first row of the, you'll start with Tunisian simple stitch and then Tunisian pearl stitch alternating. So simple stitch, pearl, simple pearl, simple pearl, simple pearl, all the way to the last stitch. And you'll work the last stitch normally. So Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian purl stitch, Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian purl stitch. We're doing this all the way across the row. And then the last stitch, you'll put your hook through both loops on the edge pull up a loop, then close normally by doing a chain one, and then yarn over and pull through two. Repeat that until you get to the beginning of the row. Alright, the second row of the two, re two row repeat is very similar, but instead of starting with Tunisian simple stitch, you're going to start with purl stitch and then do simple stitch. So purl, simple, purl, simple, purl, simple, purl, simple, and then the last stitch will be just a normal ending stitch. So. There's a purl stitch, then a simple stitch, then a purl stitch, a simple stitch, purl stitch, simple stitch, purl stitch, simple stitch, and then close normally. So this is the honeycomb stitch pattern. It's these two rows just repeated. So simple stitch, then purl stitch, the first row, purl stitch, then simple stitch, the second row. So the next row I would do simple stitch, then purl stitch. Now I'm going to pretend that I am at the next part of the pattern. So if you're doing the hand towel, you're going to do 10 total rows of honeycomb stitch. And if you're doing the washcloth, you're going to do four rows of honeycomb stitch. Next, we're going to just purl across. So every stitch is a purl stitch. So you really only need two stitches for this pattern, that is simple stitch and purl stitch, and you can make the whole thing. And we're going to do another row of purl stitches. These rows of purl stitch make the ridges that go across the hand towel and the washcloth. So see here, you've got your start of honeycomb stitch, and then we have these rows of purl stitches. And then we're going to go back into the honeycomb stitch. So if you're doing the washcloth, you'll have three rows of purl stitches. And for the hand towel, you have four rows of purl stitches. Then we'll go back into the honeycomb. And I'm not going to even show it again because you already know how to do it since we showed it at the beginning. For the washcloth, the total pattern, you've got four rows of honeycomb, three rows of purl. Then 12 rows of honeycomb, three rows of purl, four rows of honeycomb. To finish the pattern, 
you're going to just do a normal Tunisian close. And in case you don't know how to do that, I will show you. So to do a normal Tunisian closing, whatever the stitch is that you would be doing, you still do it. So let's pretend that I'm on the last row of a honeycomb. So I'm going to start with pearl, pearl and then to do Tunisian. I mean, sorry, pearl and then Tunisian simple stitch. I'm going to do the pearl stitch. And then instead of stopping here, I would just pull this loop through the other loop on my hook. And now in the pattern, I would be on Tunisian simple stitch. So I'll do a simple stitch. And then again, just pull this through. So I'm basically making like a row of slip stitches along the top as I go. Then I'm on a purl stitch and pull it through. Then a simple stitch and pull through. Purl stitch and pull through. Simple stitch and pull through. Purl stitch, pull through. Simple stitch and pull through. And the last stitch and pull through. And then I could tie this off. I got really loose there for some reason. And that would be the end of it. So this obviously tiny sample doesn't really look like the pattern because I only did a super tiny sample. Um, so I gave you the stitch counts for the hand washcloth. For the hand towel, the row counts, um, you'll have 10 rows of honeycomb stitch, then four rows of pearl stitch, then you have 34 rows of honeycomb stitch, four rows of pearl stitch, 10 rows of honeycomb stitch, and that's it. You are done. So I hope you enjoy this pattern. You can get the written pattern on my blog and the link's in the description. Happy crocheting!